to assess unit x to seal this side and today we are going to see about the delta transaction log so before going forward if you haven't watched the last video of this video series so i would strongly recommend to watch that video where we have seen about the small file problem so how small file problem occurs everything we have seen on that video so let's start with today's video with the delta transaction log so the delta transaction log is a critical component of delta lake which is an open source storage that brings ac transaction to the apache spark and big data workloads so earlier we have seen like our data lake is now supporting the ac transactions so ac transactions are nothing but the atomicity consistency isolation and durability so all those are not applicable inside your data lake so in delta lake we are having all these features so this is delta transaction log enables for this ac transaction log and the transaction log keeps track for all changes made to the delta table so whenever we are making any dml operation on your table then it is keeping all the changes and it is also allowing the feature for the time travel data versioning and concurrent writes so these features it is supporting next what is the location of this so if we will be going to see inside your folder where we are keeping all your data files so under that we will be having the folder with the name of underscore delta log that we have already seen in the last video so under this directory your log will be maintained and the logs are stored inside your json format so it is going to start from zero and then going forward it is adding a new transaction log files like zero one two three like that it will be adding next let's understand about the checkpoint so what is the checkpoint so checkpoint files so these files are created inside your delta log directory where we are keeping our logs and it will be having extension dot checkpoint extension if your file will be having dot checkpoint extension then you can say this is the checkpoint file and they store the state of delta table at a specific point in time and allowing for faster recovery and query next is the automatic checkpointing so we are not required to do anything explicit for this checkpoint so let's assume if we are making any dml operation one two three four five six seven like that so it will be creating all those json files so those json files will be going to start from zero then one then two going forward it will be having all those files at certain point at time it will be creating the checkpoint file so we can also set the threshold value like from how many files it will be generating your checkpoint file the checkpoint file will be helpful while going to traverse back so it will be keeping all your changes from the previous json files and it is the collection of the changes inside that checkpoint file and after that it will be again creating those json files and if we want to read the data from the previous version so this checkpoint file will be helpful so let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to understand in practical so let me recap what we have done in the last video for the small file problem we have created one of the data frame with this data and after that we have dumped that data inside your location that is the output location of the sales tbl and under that we are having the delta format and then we have created this table from this location and after that we are updating so while it will be updating it is generating the new transaction log files that we have seen if we can go here then in the last video we have created these many dot json and dot crc file so we are required to see about the json file so it is having total one two three four total four json files it is having so let me quickly go here and try to update this table again with the sid three and the customer name that should be so runs two or three maybe so once it will be executed a new file will be added in your location
so as we can see one row affected and if we can go here and try to refresh it so it should be going to add a new file here so that we can see like file 4 and file 5 has been created earlier we were having total 4 files now it is having total 6 files let me quickly go here and try to update this one more time so this time it should be going to create more files so those transaction files we have 6 and after that it should be 8 so as we can see this got executed let me quickly refresh so we will be going to validate how many files we are having so we can see we are having till 6 and after that if we can notice then we are having this checkpoint file so if we can open this file so your checkpoint file is dot compacted JSON. so what it is having it is keeping all the changes that has been made before this six so till six file it is creating and after that it is going to compact all those files over here so it is creating the first version of your checkpoint file let me quickly go here and try to update this again and then we'll see what will be happening there so as it got executed successfully let me quickly refresh this and then we will see is there any new file added or not so we can see it is adding a new file that is the 7 and 8 so till 6 we are having the checkpoint file so this is the checkpoint file so after that we are having these two additional files so total 7 files that we are having and after that it is creating a checkpoint file so once again it will be going to create these many 7.json files and after that it will be creating the second version of your checkpoint file that you can see here so i hope guys you have understood about the delta transaction log thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video